right? I'm like the biggest fan. He's so like handsome, he's not hard to look at, super talented, what more could he want? I feel like the entirety of Broadway, New York City, and America is pulling for him and rooting for him and cheering for him. Yes, I'm very excited to see the show. I'm friends with the director, and uh, I've heard it's the most wonderful show. I was working in England at the time that this started, and I was on the same schedule, so I couldn't see it. So very excited to see it tonight. I saw him in On the 20th Century in Rocky. I can't wait to see what he does with this, because this is a brilliant movie, and he's brilliant, and all these creative team members are great at adapting something that is so beloved into this form, and I think it's going to be an amazing night. Oh my god, I love Andy Carl. I'm very very excited to see him. I hope he's naked. I'm really excited. I also heard about his injury before the weekend, so I'm like, I'm excited to see like the hero of Broadway tonight. I am excited to see Andy tonight. Oh my God, yes. It's been a hell of a ride to get here, and he's um, he's an incredible guy, and this is a proper Broadway theater story, because he is putting it all on the line. I am very excited to see Andy Carl, because I saw him in this show in London, and he is amazing. And obviously, he just won the Olivier Award for Best Actor in a Musical, so what's not to love? I think it would involve binging House of Cards all night and all night. Probably involve a Broadway opening. I would probably feel good about my hair. I would be with my husband who's taking a picture of me right now. <laughs> it would be spent in Kauai. It would involve lots of food, lots of alcohol, and my husband. God, what day would I relive over and over again? I don't know, I'm just gonna say the past 24 hours, they're pretty epic. I saw my sister close her US tour, then I went to Disney and Universal. So like, it was a pretty epic day. Not the past 72 hours. I think I would relive our wedding day, because it was perfect. That's definitely one. Probably any day of my honeymoon, which wasn't that long ago. I know you're surprised. <laughs> Oh man, when I made my Broadway debut, that was really special with Bring It On the Musical. I would totally relive that over and over and over again. The day I got the call saying I was going to be in Bronx Tale. It's terribly stagey, but the day I was nominated for two Olivier Awards, it was just an amazing day. Well, if the show's great, I'd want to see it over and over. Theater is my favorite thing in the world. When I was, you know, 15 years old, I saw the Titanic musical probably a dozen times because they sold $20 student tickets. And so theater, more than anything, is my Groundhog Day. I've seen Cats like five times what 33-year-old man sees cats five times. Um. My time London working with the cast and he was the one who came over here and, and was an old hand at the show and he works twice as hard as everybody and everybody works hard. I could not be prouder of Andy. What a stud. What a stud to come in here after that small injury that he had and um, carry us like he did tonight and give the performance that he did. Amazing. Andy Carl is a hero. He's a superhero. He's so inspiring and like we as a cast we just want to make him proud and support him in whatever way. He's awesome. Literally that's we're riding high. I mean Andy carried us through to the finish line tonight. I mean, but that knee injury just carrying, literally carrying our show to the finish line. I feel impressed with Andy too. No, I'm kidding. I actually feel very impressed with myself. I'm so proud of Andy for getting up there with a torn ACL. Who does that? I am so unbelievably proud and just so grateful to be here with him. What an amazing co-star, human being, actor, all of the above. So happy to be there with him to support him in whatever way I can and be supported by him in all of the ways. It's just incredible. How proud am I of Andy Carl? Um, look, it, well, I didn't do it. It was the spirit of theater. Um, that's what I'm most proud of. Uh, the cast and the crew and everybody involved in the show has just been doing nothing but supporting me. Um, and a lot of love out there. Thank you, Cheetah Rivera, for a text. I mean, talk about somebody who knows the show must go on. She's the one that uh, I turn to. So I'm proud of everybody else. This guy's just a shell. This is going to sound so boring. I love to play golf. I would probably play like 72 holes of golf in a day. Try to hit people. I don't know. It's, it could get really macabre. I mean, like this show. It could get really weird. Be in Hawaii on Maui. I would go to the beach. I'd go to Mama's Fish House. I would have a Mai Tai, probably at 8 o'clock every night. And um, eat a lot, because I know it would not stick to my thighs. <laughs> I think I just want to be with my, my loved ones, my friends, my family, and eat a lot of really good food and drink a lot of really good wine. I think that would be the perfect day. Perfect day would be waking Waking up, dogs licking the face, going and have like breakfast made for me. It's some like amazing spread. Well, it would involve a lot of food, 
Specifically burritos, probably more than one in a day if I could. Probably go swimming. Maybe walking someplace in Paris or someplace with my wife and then just sitting by a pool for the rest of the day.